Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number 5, and we're going up against an alliance called Deadpool. Now, I've already scouted out my path, and if you are familiar with my war videos, you know that I go in with these attackers, Warlock, Omega Red, and Nick Fury. And I take path 2 in sections 1 and 2. So we're going to be heading over here to the left. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that they did not place a defender on that first node. Uh, so I had a little bit of an easier time uh, clearing my path. However, um, this Venom caused me a little bit of concern. All right. They chose Stubborn, which most of our opponents do. But Venom... He is a stubborn defender. And what that means is that he has the hashtag defensive. So when you evade, he's going to get an indestructible charge where he doesn't take any damage and any bleeds or poisons that were on him go away instantly when he gets that. And you know how aggressive Venom is. Okay. Um, I can evade his special too, but I don't really want to do that, especially not in war. Um, it's very, very risky. So you want to bait out that special one, but sometimes Venom doesn't want to fire the special one. Uh, but in any case, uh, just look at how many indestructibles he's getting, but you may notice that he's not actually indestructible. That is thanks to a change that Kabam made in attacker tactics. So if you go in with an attacker who is also hashtag defensive and they've chosen stubborn, then... When you parry, and I believe it's just parry, it, it might be block as well, um, but I do remember that if you parry, you now get that destructible charge, I guess they call it, and it prevents indestructible. So what you have to do when you're going in with an attacker that has hashtag defensive is parry, and you don't have to worry about the indestructible. So Nick Fury is my best stubborn attacker. He just rips it up. Beautiful. Um, but I do remember when you block, there is a charge you get, I think, so that your blocks uh, become perfect blocks. So you're taking even less damage. Love it. All right. So as you saw, uh, someone else took the mini. Uh, when I came back, it was already cleared. Uh, and we're ready to go to section two. So our first attacker or defender is this Spider-Man. And you got to be careful uh, when fighting this Spider-Man. It's very, very annoying. Okay. So again, I'm going in with Nick Fury. Uh, I will use Nick Fury as often as possible when they choose Stubborn as their defense tactic. Because he just rips it up. Not only that, but if they can be bled, then Nick Fury just really tears them up. Okay, so you see I'm trying to play it a little bit more carefully because he will evade and uh, wreck you. All right, like that. All right, and you see there he got indestructible, but it's not going because he has a lot of destructible charges on him. And down he goes. That fight could have been a lot more difficult, but Nick Fury made it look pretty easy. Okay. So, love Nick Fury, um, especially for war, especially when they have uh, the stubborn defense tactic. Okay, so now notice also here uh, that, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that more in a, in a minute. All right, so the next attacker is uh, Symbiote Supreme. Now, there is no finesse about this fight. One of the things that I learned way back when I used to fight Doctor Strange was because of the way they gain power, the best tactic is to just go all in, full aggression mode. And that's what you see me doing here. No strategy, no um, trying to, you know, bait out anything. I'm just going full force. And as you can see, worked just fine. He never managed to get uh, a special off. I don't think he even managed to get a special, okay? Nick Fury's a beast, okay? Uh, but anyway, so what I was going to tell you is you'll notice that the uh, mini is not open. So what often happens in the past uh, is that 
I don't take the mini because I'm asleep by the time it's clear. But if you'll notice here, uh, it got clear and you see that one and you see it was red. That's a new mechanic that Kabam has implemented where you can poke another player in game. So they get an in game notification uh, saying, hey, you're clear. All right. But I was going to be taking this Elsa because I have Omega Red and Omega Red is the perfect counter. Uh, but if you don't have Omega Red, you don't want to face Elsa with a non-mutant because Elsa is one of the few defenders that it's actually better to place with suicides because when Elsa bleeds, while she's bleeding, she puts a degen on you and it's ugly. It's a nasty degen. I've almost lost battles when I accidentally in the past went up against Elsa without a mutant. It was not pretty. All right, so this was the first time that I knew that they did place with suicides. You see that bleed? But because I'm a mutant, I don't have the degen. Okay, so that makes this fight pretty straightforward. And you see there, I'm doing a lot of heavies. Um, she does have a regen, but as long as you have a lot of spores, she's not gonna regen a whole lot uh, from this node, as you can see here. And so we're just basically slow playing it. Uh, pretty straightforward fight. Now there, I kind of messed up um, the evade. I, I blocked that first part of her special. And right there, the reason that he backed off and the reason I just got hit, okay? I want to explain that. You notice that he stood there, he didn't attack, and then he backed off. That was not intentional. That's not what I wanted to do. We had a plan. It was pretty straightforward. You know, parry, and then I was going to hit her a few times. Okay? Or do a heavy or something. It went completely non-responsive and then dashed back. I kid you not. So I'm just like, okay. And so that threw me off. And then I got hit by a very easy to evade um, attack. But in any case, uh, we got through the fight without dying. And now we're at Boss Island. And I still like to wait for instruction. All right. And I was told, go ahead and uh, head over to the right side and finish off this thing and see if I can't take down that uh, stealth suit Spidey. Okay, so I said, all righty, and I headed right on over there. And you can see here that I wasn't waiting that long because I still have the boosts that I just put on. Okay, wasn't that long. All right, and so we went ahead. And on this node, I don't really like this node, but I'm getting used to it. Um, I basically have to fight the way that I normally fight Korg. And the way that I normally fight Korg is I basically take a lot of blocked hits. I don't try to parry Korg unless his rock, uh, not his rock shield. Yeah, yeah, his rock shield um, is down. Otherwise, I don't, okay? Now, Thing is a very good uh, placement here because you can't parry him or else you'll get stunned. And he's also a stubborn defender, so he's getting indestructibles. Then he's triggering protection, so it's ugly. But guess what? Nick Fury got something for him, all right? Uh, and I'm not too worried because even when the real Nick Fury comes out, it actually makes this even better because when the real Nick Fury is out, he can't be stunned, okay? So you see, he's got me in the corner here. All right, the real Nick Fury is out. So now I'm fighting my way out of the corner, finish him off. But at that time, I wouldn't have to worry about parrying him or anything because I can't be stunned. All right, uh, when the real Nick Fury is out. So we were able to finish off uh, that thing. Nick Fury's a beast, y'all. Um, easily my MVP for Alliance Wars. Easily. All right, so here we go again. Now, you'll notice, you know, all of these nodes, best defense, spry, you got limber, brute force, very annoying stuff. And so what people usually do here 
they will place an evader of some sort. Uh, I've seen Spider Gwen. She makes a very nasty defender on that node. All right. Now, with uh, Stealth Suit Spidey, you know, I see, you see, I went in here with uh, Nick Fury again, and you'll notice that I'm not fighting with full five hit combos. Okay. I just bled him to death because Nick Fury is a beast, and the real Nick Fury was already out. So I was doing tons of damage, ripped him up. Okay. Uh, Limber didn't really bother me that much because by the time I would have run out of um, the ability to stun, uh, he was going to be dead. So I didn't have to worry about that. All right. So now we've got the boss and we actually do have some boss action. Uh, they cleared that uh, last mini and they worked a little bit on the boss and they asked everybody to just chip in. You know, um, we didn't care about uh, the bonus or anything like that. Just help out, okay? So um, I jumped in here first with Warlock. You know, he's got full health. And this is my warm up. okay? Now, notice how I was able to evade Thing without triggering his indestructible. That's something that I've had to practice. All right, see, like right there? You just have to evade faster. See, I'm used to doing what Dorky Diggity Dave calls shallow evades, which means evading at the very last minute. That triggers indestructible, so you don't want to do that, okay? Um, and I'm used to that because I played Spider-Man Stark Enhanced a lot, and that's how you build poise charges. So I just got used to doing that, okay? So as you can see here, he's still gaining indestructible, um, and so I'm trying to... You know, just do as much damage as possible. Like I said, just get used to it. And as you see there, um, I was able to take the block hit, which removes the indestructible, and then um, evade fast enough not to trigger it again. Um, when I first faced Thing, before they changed the stubborn attacker tactic, um, he was annoying, okay? And right there, I kind of messed up a little bit, um, but it's all good. I wasn't expecting to, you know, take him down with Warlock. All I'm trying to do here is do as much damage as possible, All right? So I triggered uh, Indestructible, got rid of it again, pushing him back, and I'm actually doing a pretty, you know, decent job considering Warlock is not a good option. Uh, earlier, I got lucky. I fired that special two, and I just so happened to uh, be at his rock charges so that I didn't push him to a uh, um, unstoppable, all right? But um, I believe I end up doing that a little bit later, all right? See there? I just kind of lost track of his uh, rock charges and got wrecked, okay? Um, but I did much better than I was expecting to do, but Warlock, not a good uh, counter to Thing, especially when Stubborn is the um, defense tactic. Now we come to someone who is a good counter for Thing. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to take down Thing with Nick Fury. You know, the real Nick Fury is already out, so I only have, you know, the 30% health here. Um, but I'm doing more damage, and I just want to take as much, uh, do as much damage as I can, okay? That's my goal. Uh, like I said, we're just trying to get this boss down, okay? So, uh, with Nick Fury, if you don't already know, every time he bleeds, even though Thing is immune to bleed, every time Nick Fury bleeds a uh, Thing, or would place a bleed on Thing, uh, it reduces his rock charges. So it makes managing them much, much easier. I usually don't have to look too much at them because of that. And of course, the reason that I fired off a special three is because uh, I'm running suicides and I'm already low on health, so I don't want to fire off um, the specials. Normally, uh, you would want to fire off his special two, which does a lot of damage, especially when the real Nick Fury is out. But the special three also does some work. And as you can see, I'm doing quite a good chunk of damage to him. Okay. Um, also, because of the attacker tactic, I don't have to worry about his indestructible. All right. Um, so, yeah, Nick Fury is one of the best counters for Thing. I, I don't know if he's the best counter, but he's one of the best. 
he's my best counter uh, for Thing. Uh, but eventually, we're going to get so low that we're not going to be able to take any more uh, blocked hits or, or get any openings uh, in. All right, but I did what I set out to do. I was able to get a couple of special threes off and do a lot of damage uh, to him, okay? So you see here, he's still not indestructible, but in order for me to uh, get that destructible, I have to take, you know, I have to try to parry him. Even though he won't get stunned, he'll get the destructible, but I don't have the health, all right? So I kind of just threw in the towel at that point because I already saw that I wasn't gonna be able to do anything. What would have happened is in order to get a destructible on him, parry, all right? But trying to parry him, he's stun immune, I was gonna take blocked hits and I didn't have the health to do that. So I did what I set out to do. You saw the damage uh, that we were able to do to him and that was really all I wanted to do, okay? Did a lot of damage uh, to this thing. So now I'm sitting here and uh, I decided to just keep it here uh, for a little bit because we get a chance to go in. Little little spoiler, we do get a chance to uh, go in after this. Uh, so at this point, uh, I'm like, okay, don't know if they're going to be able to get him down or not. Um, I had looked around uh, at some of the other, um, the condition of some of my teammates and uh, we did have a few that most likely could have jumped in and uh, finished him off if we failed. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, I'm looking here, you know, because if he didn't get him down, I was thinking I'm going in with uh, Omega Red because I want to throw in everyone. Uh, and I believe this is happening before um, my live stream. So I'm able to do all of this. Uh, before I stream so I don't have to interrupt what I'm doing or anything like that, which as you guys know I really really don't like doing uh, So um, I decided to just wait for a little bit uh, to see if I was still needed All right, <clears throat> and like I said um, I was able to get in there. All right, so look at that. He don't have a health bar You can't even see it. There's a little sliver of health there. Look at this he, I, I know my alliance mate was like, I can't believe it, because he, he had him. He had him, okay? And of course, boom, 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 boom. And one more, boom, and he's down, okay? Uh, but that's going to do it for uh, this war, and we're going to return a little bit. Uh, shout out to uh, Dark Side Network. Um, I'm in one of his uh, groups as well, and, and we talk a little bit. Uh, really cool guy. All right, shout out to you. Sorry I had to beat your thing down. <laughs> a little bit anyway. Uh, but we'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Now, our opponents did what's called a boss rush. Uh, you can tell because explored they only explored 54.6 percent but they got all three of their bosses down so a very valid tactic uh my alliance has done a boss rush um i think a couple of times this season already uh, and the goal of a boss rush is to minimize item usage and to still get as many points as you can so one of the ways that you can do a boss rush is you can send in a team initially, have everybody else on backup, but maybe three people, maybe four people go in initially. And they just go and clear as much as possible all on one section, usually the left side because it's easier. All right, they go as far as they can go or they get to a place where they just don't have a counter um, or the counter that they brought um, is a bit too hurt. Then they would call in you know, the backup. But if they're able to go all the way to the boss and down the boss, then everyone that's on backup is free to just explore as much as possible, okay? Now, we skipped uh, some sections primarily because we saw that they were just doing a boss rush. And so we were like, okay, let's save some items by 
skipping maybe some of the more difficult fights. And as long as we're getting our boss down, it's all good. All right. And we were able to explore uh, almost all of the map. I don't remember uh, when they saw that they were doing a boss rush, but um, we still went for as much exploration as we could. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit a like. It really does help out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me already and you want to see this video and other types of videos that I have on my channel, uh, feel free to give me a subscription. Hit that notification button so you can at least try to get the notifications because YouTube doesn't always do it. Um, but I also have a Twitch as well as a Twitter and a Discord server. Uh, so you can follow me and join. Uh, you can find all that information in the description of the video. All right. And you'll get notifications more consistently. So take care uh, and you all have a blessed day.